fortunate to, to be here and to have our families safe and to be warm and um, have enough food to eat and sometimes makes the problems that seem so big pale, pale in comparison. Keep that in perspective. Send our wishes to them. Um, our first news of the new year and our first agenda item of the new year um, is a very positive note. We do have an efficiency expert award to present this evening to Sergeant Dan Jones of the North Reading Police Department. And um, it involves um, a cost savings um, in regarding uh, swapping of older weapons for newer upgrading, upgraded weapons. We have Sergeant Jones here with us tonight. Congratulations. And Chief Hank Purnell. And um, I'd ask them if they would just uh, present to the board and so uh, the media and the public can hear a brief synopsis of the work that um, Sergeant Jones did to bring about this cost savings. Thank you. Uh, Sergeant Jones is a 25-year veteran. He's also my armor. He trains all my regulars, all my specials, the animal field and all officers, and my reserves. And he, on his own initiative, he, uh, he took all the weapons that were turned in, and, and some of them that when we bought the new blocks, we had to turn on our old weapons. And he went out and he, uh, he uh, went to different vendors to see how much money he could save by turning these weapons in. Not only we take these weapons and destroy them, uh, but he took it on his own initiative to go out and see how much money we could save. And uh, he saved quite a bit, saved hundreds of dollars uh, in the police department's budget. Uh, and therefore, enable us to continue the program to buy more air and ammunition and to get better training. Thank you. Yeah, it's noted here that um, it's a minimum of 888 dollars. Well, it's a little more than that. It's right, a minimum, and it sort of exceeded that. Though. Is there anything you'd like to add, Sergeant Jones, regarding... Um, no, unless there's any questions, no, I'd just like to thank the committee, the Efficiency Committee, Peg Classes, Michelle Moore, Alina Minton, and Carl Nelson for recognizing Thank you for um, making such a worthwhile submission. Is that any other comments or anything? Well, we have a presentation. Do you want the rest of them? No, why don't you just um, you and Okay. And this is a certificate of recognition. The Town of North Reading's no Efficiency problem. Expert Committee is honored to present this certificate and award to Sergeant Dan Jones in, appreciate, in appreciation for your efficiency idea for the month of November, which saved the North Reading Police Department. It says $888 for the more than $888 for trading in old weapons for newer upgraded weapon systems. Shake hands with Dan. I was going to, <laughs> certainly for a point. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. The best to you. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, you're not sticking around for the rest of the 
makes me blush. <laughs> okay, next on our agenda, we have one set of minutes from December 6th to approve, and this um, was a set that just needed um, a slight revision from our last meeting. Are you okay with that now? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, a motion, Mr. Masseri? Madam Chairman, I move to approve the December 6, 2004 regular session minutes as written. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? None. Unanimous. Okay, next is correspondence. It's a fairly short list, but if anyone is seeking any correspondence, please pass your yellow sheet down to Ms. Sponzo. Public comment? There is none. Um, legal bills for November 2004. And unfortunately, we do have some of those. So, a motion, Mr. Masseri? Madam Chairman, I move to approve legal bills for November 2004 in the amount of $11,763.68 as follows. Copeland and Page, PC General, $5,015.68. Copeland and Page, PC Labor, $6,748 for a total of $11,763.68. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? None. Unanimous. <coughs> have a public hearing or poll, but it's scheduled for 7.45, and it's only 7.39. <laughs> so, um, I guess I'm moving, yeah. <laughs> See? See that? Um, number seven on the agenda is appointments and reappointments. Do any members of the board have appointments made? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Um, I decided not to have them beforehand. I do not know who they belong to, so. Yeah, they're mine. They're yours. Yeah. Do you want to pass the, do you want to have those passed down to you? Yeah. 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 Okay. Those are the constables. And the housing partnership. serving constable for a term to expire December 31st, 2005. John Fru, 11 Nickel Street. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Excuse me, any discussion, Mr. Uh, no, only I spoke to Mr. Fru. Uh, he has been active in this position and would like to be reappointed. Um, is there any further discussion? Okay, hearing none, we can uh, just do a regular vote on this. This does not have to be a roll call. We have a motion and a second. If there's no further discussion, um, we can vote. <coughs> All those in favor of Mr. Fru's appointment, please say aye. 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 Opposed? No. Unanimous. Mr. Vina? Madam Chairman, I move to place into nomination the following names for appointment as detailed constables for a term to expire December 31st, 2005. Carl Byrd, 241 Park Street, and Jerry Byrd, 41 Park Street. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second discussion. Yes, if I may, Madam Chair, uh, on recommendation of the Chief Hank Pinnell, uh, I'm bringing these two names forward uh, to both be appointed. Um, I know they do a fine job and they work for the town for a number of years. Uh, also, as capacity of animal control officer and assistant animal control officer, I would highly, highly recommend that we appoint these two. Now, are these the only two two openings? These are the line? only two that we have. Right? Okay. This, yeah, I think I know what your question well, is. Well, are we going for? I, uh, do we need 
to I, I, I think technically we should do a roll call okay. vote. Calvert and Jerry Jerry. Okay, we'll do a roll call vote because we need to kill some time anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got time. <laughs> okay, um, is there any further discussion? Okay. Mr. O'Leary? Calvert and Jerry Burke. Mr. Masseri? Calvert and Jerry Burke. Mr. Callaghan? Calvert and Jerry Burke. Mr. Vino? Calvert and Jerry Burke. And the chair votes for Calvert and Jerry Burke. Good <coughs> second. for a term to expire December 31st, 2007. Frank Delaney, 18 Lowell Road. Okay, we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. Mr. O'Leary? Uh, Madam Chair, Mr. Delaney uh, has been serving in this capacity for a number of years and I've been one of the original members of the House of Partnership and has, has chaired it for a number of years uh, until last year. There'll be no need for added guide wires or anything no, like that. Will there? Just be a freestanding pole. Thank you. Okay. Um, Councilor Lewis, 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 Councilor Okay, um, since there is no one from the public seeking recognition and seemingly no further comments from the board, um, a motion, Mr. Masseri? Madam Chairman, I move to grant the joint petition of Reading Municipal Lake Department, Verizon New England, Inc., to relocate a pool on Pluff Avenue as shown in. 